Hi everyone, today I'm going to go through a John Lewis hamper and what is in it. My dad actually got this um, from someone that he works with and he said that I could open it on camera and that he thought that would be quite fun for me to do because my dad has taken a real interest in YouTube lately so thanks dad. And I thought it would be a fun thing to do on camera as well and see what Christmas delights we have. So it's a really, really large box, really large. I'm not even sure whether I can lift it up. There we go. That is big. Oh, okay, so first up we have six John Lewis crackers and they're in a beautiful red. And these are what we can get on the back. My favorite is actually the reindeer key ring. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it also open, like opens up cans. So that is what it looks like in a wicker brown basket. Thank you. So this is Alex's favorite thing from the chocolate. basket so far. It's a white chocolate bauble with a decorative tree on. That's cool. That's what you like, it's empty. Inside. I think it's hollow, yeah. And that's by Stas Chocolatier. Next up, we have some tomato and basil cheese twists. Then we have some rewardingly rich maple fudge. Then we have some really cool Butler's chocolate and they come in the flavours of Midnight Ginger Truffle, Pomegranate Panna Cotta, Hazelnut Brownie, Christmas Pudding Trifle, Truffle, sorry, Orange Bomb, Red Velvet, Spice Berry Parfait and Coffee Creme Brulee and that's them all on the back. How good does that look? Yum! Out of all those, I'd want the pomegranate panna cotta the most. Or spice berry parfait. Oh, uh, orange bomb. I'm really into orange chocolate this year. Oh, and then we have a Christmas pudding. Oh, it's called an ice top fruit slab with decoration. There we go. Oh, okay. So, we've got loads of these polystyrene things. And these are not good for dogs. I thought I'd use the tree as the backdrop. Are you guys liking that? I don't usually vlog in here because I usually just like to keep my vlogs to uh, the same place actually, but because this hamper is so heavy, I didn't want to take it all the way upstairs. God, there's so many polystyrene bits. Oh, cool. Okay, we've got a really cool fancy Christmas put. Is this just normal with cider? doesn't go after 2019 so even if we don't have it this year because Alex and I are doing the desserts for Christmas for our family this year but um that's cool I feel like everyone has to have a Christmas pudding but no one actually likes them this is such a cool hamper right next up we have farmhouse biscuits chocolate chip and cranberry biscuits how good do they look I wonder if they're in a packet okay next up we have crunch craving nuts is that focusing? Fruit and nut mix. Ooh. <gasps> Next we have some slow roasted coffee by Paddy and Scott. So we can use this in a cafetiere. Ooh, and then we have some Yorkshire crisps. Sweet chili and lime. My dad will love those. Christmas pickle, how cute is that? Christmas pickle, what flavor is this then? Sweet apple chutney with cider and cranberries. Hi! Hello! Heidi's just come in. Come and say hi, come here. Come here. Good girl, come say hi to everyone. Good girl, you're all wet. Heidi's got her eye on the chocolate ball. No, get your nose out there. We have another jar of Chris oh okay this is different sorry we have Christmas preserve here so this is summer fruit jam with festive mulling spices and then on to the good stuff a bottle of Prosecco a bottle of white wine is a bottle of red great so that hamper is from John Lewis I think that's such a great gift to give to your client or colleague or friend, auntie, uncle. And it's cool. I quite would like this basket for my bathroom. So hopefully 
I miss you too. Oh, I was in my ear. So thank you to my dad for offering up this hamper to open up on camera. Thank you so much to the people that gave it to him. And we're definitely gonna enjoy all this stuff over Christmas. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.